so in earlier videos we have gone through the two plates where actually this step number one that is given data width is given thickness is given fub that is the ultimate stress of the plate material and diameter of the bolt is also given and accordingly you have to connect the two plates with the bud joint and since that is a bud joint so we have seen how to get the thickness of the cover plate in the last video we have calculated the thickness of the cover plate and then we said that there will be two bolts in one row just like this two bolts in one row and from that what is the tensile stress to be carried out by the strength, tensile strength by the plate and for that we have gone through this clause 6.3.1 page number 32 and we got this strength now for this strength we need to find out what is the number of bolt and pitch so we will go with the next step and that is the step number 3 so your step number 3 that is calculation of number of bolt and pitch calculation of number of bolts and each so that's our next step now when we need to refer the clause 10.3.3 .3, page number 75 to calculate strength of the bolt in double shear and strength of the bolt in bearing So this is the clauses that is actually in double shear VDSB that is equals to VNSB by gamma MB and VNSB it is already given a few by root 3 to NN ANB plus NS into ASB. So this is the formula which we already gone through in the earlier steps or earlier problem right. So we'll now go ahead with the calculation. So that is clause number 10.3.3 So we'll calculate from clause number 10.3.3 page number 75 so we need to refer this go through the each clauses whatever i am mentioning and now therefore we'll get vdsb and that is equals to VNSB divided by gamma MB and this is equals to a few by root three. multiplied by n n a n b plus n s into a s b and this is divided by 1.25 gamma m b that is the value 1.25 from the table number 5 as you have seen in the earlier page itself 
and this is to be multiplied by 2 as we are seeing that is in the double shears since we are going to calculate strength of the bolt in double shear strength of bolt in double shear and therefore we have multiplied by 2 so if we just solve this ultimately what we will get it root 3 multiplied by 1.25 and 1 divided by root 3 into 1.25 so this is going to be 0 0.4 62 into fu and multiplied by nn into a and b and the next part that is ns into asb that is for the without thread and we are not going to solve the problem without thread we are going to solve the problem with the thread and that is to be multiplied by 2 so this is equals to now 0 0.462 multiplied by 4 ultimate stress of the bolt material that is fu and that is 400 you have seen it earlier case itself nn that is the number of plane and that is 1 and multiplied by now this a and b so a and b that is the area of the bolt so area of the bolt So, pi by 4 So, area of the bolt that is pi by 4 into 20 square and this is multiplied by 0 0.78 why we are multiplying by 0 0.78 because it is to be considered with the thread right and this is coming out to be around 245 mm square So now if we just put this value here 245 multiplied by 2 so here you will get so if you just solve this you will get it around 90.4 kilo newton that's the value of strength of the bolt in double shear So now next is the strength of the bolt in bearing. So strength of the bolt in bearing. Now we just we go through the clause. Ten point three point four page seventy five. <coughs> so uh, that is the this one bearing capacity of the bolt. And what does this say? Bearing capacity of the bolt that is VDPB equals to VNPB by gamma MB. And VNPB that is 2.5 KB into DT into FU. So this uh, these are already covered in the earlier videos. 
and uh, this KB it is the smaller of E divided by 3 D0 P divided by 3 D0 minus 0 0.25 FU by FU and 1 finally you will get this VNPB and then VDPB So, therefore, VDPB is equal to VNPB divided by gamma MB. So, now here we will consider. VNPB that is 2.5 KB DTFU divided by the value of 1.25 uh, 1 we will get it from the page number 30 that is table number 5 gamma MB so if you just look at this value <coughs> I already highlighted gamma MB that is 1.25 So this is going to be 1.25 We can even further solve this You will get around 2 KBDT into FU. So now let us consider this is equal to 2, this KB which is smaller of. So we can just let us say consider 1 and then multiply it by D that is 20, thickness of the plate that is 8 mm, and then FU of the bolt. and that is equals to 400 so if you solve this you will get it around 130 kilonewton So now in this case required number of bolt is to be considered as whatever tensile force is there divided by strength of the bolt in double shear. So the next one that is to calculate the number of bolt. So therefore, required number of bolts that is equals to tensile force divided by strength of bolt. So we will consider strength of the bolt as the minimum one out of this two strength of the bolt in bearing as well as strength of the bolt in double shear. So if we just solve tensile strength we got it in the earlier step. So that is equals to 368.4 and this is divided by strength of the bolt that is in double shear which is minimum 90.4. So you, here you will get it around 5 volts and then finally minimum pitch so 
so minimum pitch equals to 2.5 into diameter of the bolt this is already in IS 800 and we have already gone through this um, how to get minimum pitch and uh, minimum edge distance criteria so even if you want to go uh, ahead with it so you can refer clause number 10.2.2 I already shown you clause 10.2.2 page 73 and this is equals to 2.5 into 20 and that is equals to 50 mm even you can go with the minimum age distance so minimum age which is denoted by e and that is equals to 1.7 into d so 1.7 into d0 that is 22 so you will get it around 38 mm is again from the IS 800 you can just refer clause 10.2.4.2 page 74 so as you have seen this is 10.2.2 and in the next step that is 10.2.4 that is the 10.2.4.2 so finally you can just show how this connection is going to be so let us say this this is the plate to be connected by the cover plate so you can show this is hit mm plate and while this is 6 mm cover plate so now if you just So this is how you will get and you need to show here number of bolt so as I said how many number of bolts you got you got it here on 5 bolts so 5 bolts has to be there so this 5 bolt has to be like this 1 2 3 4 and this has to be 5 so 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 so this is the P and this is going to be E which we have calculated so this is 20 mm diameter bolt 5 numbers Right, basically 
you can say this is this is in plan and you will say this is in elevation So this is how the connection details. Is to be done. So that is the end of the problem.